Little parts. I thought before I finished taking apart this parts T-Ruck, this rotted blue Suburban. You want to see how rotted it is? If you hadn't been tuned into my videos for a while, I'll show you how rotted this baby is. It's so rusty. The body has sagged on the right side, drooped over the frame because it's rotted, rusted. Uh -oh. Barely opened the door. Look at that. How's that for rusty? Rusted right through and the body mount. Look at that. Body is actually broken. The floor is broken. It's rusted. Junk. Need some tires? Beauties. 31, 10, 50, 15s. Got four of these. They're Cooper STs. Anyhow. Close that baby up. GMC. Anyhow. So uh, I'm going to take this rotor off and half and three quarters of the same. What you do is you take off this snap ring with a special opening snap ring pliers. And you squeeze the handle, it opens. And then you take off this nut with this special socket. It costs $20 at the Chinese tool store. And then underneath that is this special washer with little holes in it. And what it does is it gets held in place by that upper nut and the lower nut is very similar but not identical. There it is. The lower nut, I don't know what you'd call me but it'd be an upper nut, has a little pin right there. See that pin? Can't see it, huh? The camera doesn't like to focus when it's really close. There's a pin there. You put that first nut on, you tighten it, and then you release it slightly so the bearing has a tiny bit of play to expand when it heats up. Then you put, whoops, dropped it in the sand. Then you put this one on top so the pin lines up with the hole, and it locks in place with those four tabs that must lock into something somewhere in there. Don't ask me. I don't know what it is. Anyways, that's the way you do it. Then you put this upper nut in place, and you torque the hell out of it. Torque her down. So we're going to pull this baby apart and get that axle out. Oh, look at that. Take the rotor off. Forgot about that. Junk. Rusted. Rusted. And there's the uh, axle we're going to use on the blazer. Inside there somewhere is a nice axle. I didn't break that one yet. And going over to here. Uh oh. Drop my carrots. I like my carrots. Keeps me from eating crappy food. Can't get the axle out because it's too wide. Busted parts in there. So I got the ball joint nuts off. I got the big one off here. Monster nut. And I hammered on it. My big BFH. And I got the bottom nut loose. That takes a monster wrench, which is a one. Where is it? I'm sure they're going to one and one-eighth. Barcolo, Buffalo, USA. I bet you that's an oldie. Made an old shop in Buffalo. Do I know anybody that lives in Buffalo? i got to think about that one. Anyhow, so here's the uh, ball joint on the bottom of the blazer. Loose. And now it's really loose because I got the, the nut loose. And the upper ball joint's loose, too. <laughs> Where is it? There you go. Anyways, I'm going to do a little bit more of the threads, and I'll be able to take this thing off and bring it inside, install the new ball joints, get the axle out, and put it on my shelf. That should just pull right out. But <laughs> Mangled! Mangled! Junk! Uh-oh. Getting rusty. You want to see what happens when you get salt on your steel body? Buffalo. Huh? Do I know somebody in Buffalo? Look at that. Rusting away. It's rusted. Junk. Rust. Grease. Throttle body. Anti-lock brakes. Need some cable sheathing? Or some number two, number six rather, number six SEU cable? I got 400 feet of it. Alright, got my hands full. Thanks for looking.